that entrance into the womb. Eternal rest is granted unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Sandra Foles. In the name of In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate All Souls Day. We pray for the uh, souls that are in purgatory, uh, waiting to be with God in the fullness of heaven. And in a special way, we pray today for all of those whose names are listed in our parish book of life. Uh, those who are still awaiting the glory of heaven. So let us come before the Lord now to confess our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. just are in the hands of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was sought and affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction, but they are in peace. For if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they should be greatly blessed, because God tried them, and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall dawn about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations, and rule over peoples. And the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care with his elect. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Put an end to my affliction and my sufferings and take away all my sins. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Preserve my life and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, because I wait for you, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Our second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized in his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have thrown into nation into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we may no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. So there was this uh, mafia boss who was a really bad guy all his life, responsible for the murder of hundreds of people, and he was Catholic. And as he was lying on his deathbed, even though he had resisted all, all efforts of people to bring him back to God and the church and to give up his ways of killing, it was on his deathbed that suddenly God broke through to him. And he really felt the, the fullness of the evil acts he had committed. And he felt great sorrow in great contrition and a priest came to him and he received the sacrament of reconciliation it took him about two hours to confess everything and he was absolved of his sin so can that man be saved i better see some nodding heads yes he can by the merits of jesus christ crucified on the cross and by his genuine sorrow and contrition. Is he ready for the fullness of life with God in heaven? Maybe not. There might need to be some purifying work of God, uh, some cleansing work on his soul. Uh, there may be some things that he needs to do uh, by way of his own personal prayer as after his death. And so for uh, for centuries, the church has taught that uh, besides heaven, which is where all the just live with God, and hell, which is being excluded eternally from God, there is a place that we call purgatory. It's not actually a place, it's a state 
of being in the process of being purified and ready to be in the fullness of light with God in heaven. Um, purgatory assures us we're on the way to heaven, we're going to get there, but uh, we're not there yet. We need to be cleansed. And there are obviously there are some grave sins that people commit in this life that maybe need some remedial work. Um, and that's what purgatory is all about. There's a really holy, holy man that I know. He's the holiest man that I know living right now at this time. And uh, whenever we talk about heaven, he always says, I'm shooting for purgatory. Because he knows that means he'll get to heaven one day. I happen to think he's going to go straight, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, only God knows that. And so um, when we come together on All Souls Day and when we pray for the dead, we are praying for the fact that they, need, they still need some remedial work. They need some cleansing. They need some purifying. They need some healing so that they can be uh, with God in the fullness of of eternal life in heaven. And so that is why we have a book of life. That's why we've listed the names of our loved ones. That's why during November in particular, we pray for all of those who have died. Because hey, if they're in heaven, you can't get any place better than that. But if they're in heaven, they don't need our prayers. And I'm sure God receives the prayers that we offer and applies them to somebody who does need the prayers. Uh, those who are in heaven, are praying for us and they're also praying for the souls of purgatory and that gets to a part of what we profess every week in the creed when we get to the end of the creed i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints forgiveness of sins resurrection of the body is heaven communion of saints we're in an eternal bond with all people who have ever lived, which is why uh, I go to prayer every morning. I have this list of the names of people who have asked me to pray for them, or people whom I know need prayers. And uh, I refresh the list every so often. It's written on paper with a pen. And as people get healed of an illness, or they find a job that they've been praying for, or some family situ situation resolves, take them off the list and every so often do a new list. And bring that list to God because of the idea, because we're in communion, that we're able to offer prayers for one another. That's Otherwise it makes no sense to ask someone, would you pray for me? We obviously must believe that other people's prayers will help. And Jesus assures us that they do. Well, death doesn't end that. That community, that family, those bonds move on in beyond the grave. And so we can still pray. And, and that's the thing that the church commends us to do. Pray for the souls that haven't been damned to hell, that haven't decided they didn't want to be with God, they've excluded themselves. But pray for those who are not in the fullness of eternal life with God. Our prayers make a difference. There's a famous passage in the uh, book of Maccabees in which uh, the Maccabees have been, um, this Jewish family and their soldiers have been doing very well in their battles, uh, defeating their enemies. God has been with them. And then they have this one battle and all their soldiers are killed and they can't figure out why did this happen? Why did God abandon them? And as they begin to remove their clothes for burial, they see that all of them have put on a pagan talisman, some kind of pagan idol that they decided would be a good luck charm for them in battle. And they look at this and they go, aha, that's it. That's why God didn't protect them. They stopped relying on God and started relying on a piece of metal. And that was their sin. Sin was idolatry. And so in the book of Maccabees, the leaders say, we need to pray for them, that God will forgive them for this and remove this stain, purify them, so they can be ready for fullness of life with God. So sacred scripture teaches us about the fact that 
healing can still take place after death. So that's the whole purpose of our prayers in the month of uh, November. That's the whole purpose of uh, All Souls Day. So let us offer fervent prayers at this Mass and throughout this day and throughout this month for the holy souls in purgatory. And let's trust that when we die, if we need this purifying, uh, which I think many of us will, that people will do the same act of prayer for us. Please stand as we bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the gospel may be proclaimed to the entire world through the word and deed and by the example of the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the born may be consoled by God in their grief and made confident of hope of resurrection for their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and for the safety of the men and women of our armed forces and the first responders serving our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For continuing protection from storms during the remainder of the hurricane season through the intercession of Our Lady of Prom Sucker, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us not cause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God hear and answer our prayers, which we make in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become our spiritual this will be, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably on our offerings, O God, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, Christ accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight, we might all live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sages command and form by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion and poem. Let perpetual light shine upon them, O Lord, with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, from whom we have celebrated this Paschal sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light 
and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reminder that the uh, memory road will be closed at the railroad tracks today from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. as they do some work on the tracks. Tonight, uh, we have our Wednesday Faith Formation Series on St. Ignatius of Loyola, founder of the Jesuits. If you pre-ordered a meal, that will be served at 6 o'clock p.m. and the video and presentation begins at 6.35. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the 